You can now control your Quan Chang UVK5 radio using the programming cable and a piece of software called Quan Chang Dock. Someone told me about this software the other day and I've just managed to get it working here. It's uh, all installed on my computer and I'll go through here the steps of what you need to do to get this running. It requires some custom firmware and it's uh, downloading of this software is really, really easy. Uh, you can use just a standard programming cable, but there's actually a couple of little quirks with this software which make it really cool for just uh, different sort of uses that you might have. We've got a graphical visualization, which is basically what I've got here on the radio at the moment. And we can go here and change some things. So if I put in, say, a new frequency, if I go 145 and I'm typing here on the radio, 145, 0, 0, 0, it follows it. And I can do the same thing here. If I go 146, 5, 0, 0, there you go. It's now following. So you can control the radio from this piece of software. You can also do a whole bunch of other things and I'm just gonna go through some of these features. So there's a channel editor built straight in. You don't need to use Chirp or anything like that. Uh, you can go through here and program all of your channels with all of the bandwidth, the powers, the tones, etc. And you can save and rewrite them. If I go read here, I think I've got a couple of channels programmed into this radio. Yep, here we go. So they've been read now and I can go in and I can modify these. Uh, you can adjust the squelch. So you can turn that on and off. You notice there just quickly, you saw the bar graph turn up. If I actually transmit on another radio, you've got a nice little graphical bar graph pop up there for the signal strength meter. So that's pretty cool. The light button activates obviously the light on the top of the radio. So that's emulating that and turning that on and off. The settings cog, so this is where you specify some of the Quan Chang settings. So I've got mine running on COM11 at the moment. Now you probably noticed that my board that I've got here is a little bit different. It's, it's a different sort of programming board. This is an AIOC board. I'll put some information below in the description. This is a programming cable, but it also has a sound card interface and I'll get into the sound card interface and how that works with this radio soon. But this will work with a normal Baofeng program cable or a normal programming cable that you use to program this radio. You just won't be able to get audio in and out of the radio, which leads me into the next bit. You see here, you can select the audio in and out device. So we can actually get audio in and out of this Quan Sheng radio remotely over this, uh, over this cable. Now, let me just bring up quickly the UVK5 dock page. But one of the things here is that it mentions is whilst you can control the radio using just the programming cable, you won't be able to break it out and get audio in and out unless you do or make up your own cable or do some modifications. And there's a bit of a sketch here of what you can build up to get audio in and out. Um, here's another little sketch here showing the audio in and out using a microphone and all this other stuff. So you can check all of this out in the link below. So just to prove that, let's just go back and I've got here in OBS uh, my software. I'm just gonna mute myself and I'm gonna go through the radio and you will hear me coming through the A uh, through the Quan Chang radio, the audio being received. This is VK7HH testing, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. So as you can see, I'm talking via my other radio here. It's being received by my Quan Chang and uh, it's, you know, working relatively well. You can see here that this is updating the signal strength meter here in real time. And if I go back into the settings and I just bring that up here, you'll see that my audio in and out device here is the microphone and speakers. Now, audio out, there is a PTT button here. There's a TX lock and unlock button here as well. I haven't experimented with the audio coming out of the radio yet. I've still got a little bit of playing there to do, but you can emulate the PTT and I'll show you that now. If I click uh, PTT, if I unlock the transmit, if I unlock the transmit button and I press PTT, you'll see there it comes on once you hit that PTT. So here's the real time spectrum analyzer. I've just clicked on spectrum there and then clicked analyzer here. You can also select a waterfall if you like, um, and you can adjust the amplification and the noise floor and all that sort of stuff. Let's go to change this to 146.5 as our center frequency 
and we can see that I could see that popping up now if I just amplify that up. Okay, 7HH testing. You can see me transmitting there and the frequency popping up. And you can see here, if you hover over, you could see the frequencies displaying here on the waterfall. If I just go step size 50 kilohertz and we just step it out a little bit more, we can see that there. So that's pretty cool. You can have a bit of a play around with that. You can also change the heat, change it into a line if you want. So there you go. You could see there's a little spike there on our frequency that we're transmitting on. Uh, heat map, same sort of thing. Um, the waterfall, there we go. Same sort of thing. So it's a cool little spectrum analyzer as well. So I'll go through and show you how to actually install this onto your computer and onto your radio. So the first thing you need to do is, as I showed before, go to this site, which I'll put in the description below, which is to the Quanchang Doc software. If you go to over here, Compiled Binaries, and open that up, you'll see here quanchangdoc.zip. Just download that file and uh, extract that to a place on your computer which I have done just here. Uh, if you come down here to the executable here, Quanchang Doc, it might ask you to install uh, some uh, .NET 6, I think it is. Just follow those prompts. It'll take you to the website. It'll say, do you want to install? Just install that as, a, as the runtime to run the program. Once you've done that, then you need to install firmware onto your radio for it to, uh, to work. So if you scroll down to this link here, which is uh, you will need to program the radio with the accompanying firmware. You click on this, this will then load up and you can then scroll down on this page and you will find here various different ways to install the firmware. But this third one here, alternatively flash using the browser, uh, using a browser to flash the radio. So you plug your programming cable in, you hold the PTT button in, turn the power on so that your LED is on like this. So all I did was I just turned the radio on, hold the PTT, turn the radio on so that you've got your light here on the top and then go back here to the flash page, click flash firmware, select your COM port that your programming cable is on. So my one's on COM11. It'll detect and it will start flashing the firmware onto the radios. Once that's done, all you need to do is open up that Quanchang Doc executable as I showed you before. It'll open up like this. Now, because I've changed my programming cable over, I need to go and change my serial port. I think it was COM3, maybe not. COM7, sorry. There we go, COM7. And that's when you will be able to connect to your radio and away you go. One of the questions that I'm going to be asked is, does it have the AM fix in this firmware for Quanshang Dock? Yes, it does. You can see that there on the screen, AM fix. If I keep going through here too, these are some of the other menu items that you can see. You can pause on the screen if any of these um, take your interest. One thing that is coming up that is in this firmware, because this is based off of the EG Zoomer firmware, which a lot of you would know is the one that has the AM fix in it. If I finally get to it, which is menu item number 13, demodulator FM, AM or USB. So it does do this SSB or DSB uh, receiving. So that's in there too. Um, here's some more of those menus. Uh, that's all in this version of firmware too. If you want to get your hands on one of these UVK5s, then there is a link to Amazon in the description below. They're pretty cheap. Um, as you can see that they're starting to get very versatile, the amount of stuff that you can do with them, like remote control operation now. You could use this for a remote radio somewhere else that's connected to a computer. You could change frequencies remotely. You could stream it over the internet and have a listen. You could uh, control it over VNC as well, remoting into that PC. There's a whole bunch of other things that this opens up for now. For some other firmware videos or other things related to this radio then there is some videos that I have done and they will appear on the screen as well so check those out if you want to dive more into the Quanchang UVK5